Okay, so there's a couple of people that responded to the post I made about closing and adjusting your uh, traverse out in the field on your data collector. And there are some people that didn't know that you could do it on Trimble. Um, this is Trimble Access. And I'm just gonna show you real quick. This is just a dummy file that I created. It is a copy of the unadjusted traverse. Um, so it has everything that we did out there, um, but the traverse wasn't adjusted yet. So Kogo. And then you go down to page two. You can either just click on it or I'm a keyboard jockey on these things. I really honestly avoid touching the screen as much as I can, as often as I can, because it makes it last uh, honestly about four or five times longer. Um, the screen protector that's on it has been on there for about a year. Uh, Traverse, uh, at least. Now I'm just gonna name this demo. This is just a dummy file. Start station. Uh, this particular job was, um, we had known control out there and the problem we had is the control to the north didn't fit the stuff to the south. And me and another guy were using robots coming from different areas of the job site to basically traverse in while doing topo and close and adjust when we got to the middle. But we could not do that because we found like a, I think, about a three tenths bust, give or take, horizontal. And so that stopped everything. Um, and we're gonna have to do a little bit of work to clean that up. But that's that wasn't really our decision, but I already know how to fix all that. And I'm gonna be taking care of that tomorrow. Um, but anyway, so station 80,000 is uh, original point number four. And number five, uh, we measured rounds to uh, 80,014. So what we're going to do is hold that um, 80,000 to 80,014, and that is our basis of our traverse. Um, so you start at 80,000, then uh, I'm hitting enter here because I don't like to use the keyboard. Uh, anyway, so it gives you the option to anything that you've measured rounds from. Sometimes you do multiple loops off of one point, which I've done three loops off of a main traverse line and close and adjust them all individually after the fact. So there would be other points in here if I did that. Um, but this one, we're going in order, uh, 80,001. So the next point up that we use was 80,003. 80,002, we just um, took a check shot over on a point that we did not include in the traverse. <clears throat> 80,004, 80,005, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, I used for something else. 14 was the uh, the back site, the original back site. So that's what we're closing into. And it gives you the option to put in your original point, but I don't like to do it if I didn't occupy it again. Um, I have tested it many different ways and it comes up with the same result. So I always just remove it anyway. And for some of you that don't know, control one is the same as this first box here. One, two, three, four, control one, control two, control three, control four. And other times there's five or six options on there. And that keeps you from touching the screen. I just, like I said, I don't like to touch the screen. It prolongs the life of it. And it makes you have to change the screen protector way less. Uh, so then, we do um, close <clears throat> and you just key in your information here. Start station 80,000, back site is five. It's the same as 80,014. So if you change it, that back site isn't gonna change because it's the, uh, you know, the same uh, point basically observed on it. Um, and our last station was 80,014. Now 90,039 is just some random point that we shot from there, but our traverse is closing to the angle and distance of 80,000, which is the same as uh, where we started. So then you just uh, enter, and that's where it pulls up your information. That was the precision, the length, your northing and easting, how far off you were. Hey, cut it out. Knock it off. Sorry, it's dinner time and the Chihuahua likes to eat everybody else's food. 
uh, your angle, uh, your distance uh, from, you know, your point to your observ your last observation to it. So before you go off of this screen, and I've got dummy points keyed in on top of these points, so that I always do that so I can inverse it after I've um, adjusted it. But control one to store, when you store it, that little box goes away. And then you go in and adjust angle, <clears throat> store it again, and that brings your precision. Okay. Oh, crap. I forgot to show you all the, you know what? Here, I'll just do it again real quick. Okay. There. Okay. So options right there. See that? <clears throat> That's your compass and transit, which always lead on compass. Angular. Oh yeah, and by the way, the thing we were talking about earlier, proportional to distance or equal proportions, you can choose one or the other on one or the other. It's kind of cool. Um, there's probably very rare instances where you want to do that, but uh, proportional to distance is what we've always had it set on, and uh, equal proportions is what... I changed it to on this one as a test to see um, <clears throat> it's kind of weird doing this with my phone in my hand but uh, if you can see there that precision changed to 217052 and a minute ago it was 160 uh, something so uh, a little bit more uh, tight there by far uh, but then after you've adjusted your traverse you go to review job which is control R by the way um, and it shows you a new symbol on uh, all your traverse points that were included in the adjustment so there's that and then the last thing is compute inverse 80,001 to 80, uh, 180,001 I just added 100,000 to make it easier. Uh, so that one moved 100th vertically, 5,000ths. Uh, 80,000 and 7, 180,007. Uh, that one moved 700th uh, horizontal, vertical, 400ths. 80,000 and 9, 180,000 and 9. Yeah, 1,500ths. Near the end, it started getting a little bit worse, of course. Uh, just makes sense you know you go all the way around and luckily the distance was only a tenth so uh total um so you know closing and adjusting really tightened it up a lot um but you can see when you get closer to the end of the loop it they were out quite a bit no, check that in a minute <clears throat> anyway so yeah that second to the last point was uh 17 hundreds out <clears throat> vertical 600s not too bad uh, 80,012 was our last one actually and that should be about a tenth because that's what we closed in yeah 1200s um, so it's angle and distance uh, so don't ever let that fool you when you're measuring rounds to a known coordinate um, we actually had a guy do that uh, not too long ago on a recent project that we're redoing some traverse out there because we found some error. Uh, so when you're measuring rounds to a known coordinate, it'll give you an out of tolerance message and it'll say horizontal distance, that, something like that. But that just means that's what you're checking distance wise. You need to remember you're on a pivot uh, with your um, instrument going from one angle and distance to another. So it doesn't know that you could be, you no, know, between a tenth and let's just say a foot away. It's only going to say the distance that you measured is wrong by that much. So after we inversed his, you know, the actual observation um, before he closed and adjusted it, it was actually out over three tenths. So that was not really as much of a shock, but not what we wanted to find out which we already kind of figured that was the problem anyway um i hope this is helpful to some of y'all out there that have never closed and adjusted your traverse with a trimble access 
um, on a TSC3. It's pretty easy. There's all kinds of different methods that you can use on here and different options for uh, when you have known control um, <clears throat> that you're tying back into. It's kind of standard for us. Um, like when we have a big project and some of it gets knocked out because they're doing construction, we got to traverse back around or into an area and back out. Uh, one of the things we do, if depending on how tight the work needs to be, is we will go and run through and close and adjust to our main control if we know it's tight. If we don't think it's that tight, then there are instances like this one that we decided to go ahead and... Um, <clears throat> you know, rerun the whole thing. But it's pretty rare, but it happens. And if it happens, you need to know how to do it. Uh, let's see, yeah. So that, I don't know if anybody paid attention to the length, but I mean, that's a pretty good size traverse length to only close out, um, you know, a 10th is not, not terrible. And I mean, it was fairly balanced, but could have been better. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me or somebody else that knows how to do all this stuff. And I guarantee you, a lot of people out there are talking about doing it by hand and that's not how we used to do it and all that. But like I responded in, um, you know, one of the comments on the Facebook group is we do not have time to do that. We just don't. I mean, really... It took me less than 10 minutes on this video to show you. Um, when I'm focused and paying attention, it really doesn't take more than 30 seconds to close and adjust this. And then maybe another five minutes to write the notes down of what I did, what I held, what I ran and what I closed to. So, all right. Anyway, bye.